All right, I'm just gonna record while my wife drives the golf cart. And we're just gonna take a pretty long tour here as she drives. So enjoy. As we're at Don Pedro Island, Palm Island Resort. And we started at the very end of the resort, not the furthest part, so we're just gonna kinda explore the area. And just to be clear, the starting point that this golf cart ride begins at is if you would drive past the Rum Bay Restaurant and the Coconuts General Store. We went as far to the end as we could, which is probably about a five minute golf cart ride past the Rum Bay Restaurant area to the very end. Which at the very end, there is a pretty cool beach area where you do see a very vintage looking driftwood type tree, or that is what I am going to call it anyway. I'm not really from the area, so I might not be up to the tree lingo of the area, but I would refer to it as a driftwood type tree if I had to put a name on it. But at this beach area, we were able to find a lot of different conch shells and other different shells that we might not have seen at the other beaches on the island. So it is something definitely worth checking out. And you'll see a lot of different boating areas in this part of the island as well. And we even did see somebody that looked like parasailing as well at this area. So it's a little bit different area of the island. So something to check out if you can get back there. And as we are driving, I am sure you can see all the amazing scenery that this island has to offer from palm trees to the beautiful vacation rental homes we are passing. You can hopefully get the feel of what a day in the life of this Palm Island Resort at Don Pedro Island feels like. It is truly a relaxing island where you see a lot of friendly people. Uh, ever since we've been down here, anytime we're driving your golf cart, it seems like people are waving at you. Everybody seems to be having a good time. Uh, it's definitely calming and relaxing, so that's something that you need. Would definitely recommend the Palm Island Resort because you're going to find a lot of relaxation and quiet time while you're visiting this island. Um, currently, we do have about six people in our group uh, that came down here and everybody seems to be having a really good time. Uh, I can say for one thing, we are getting a lot of great use out of this golf cart. Um, ever since we rented the golf cart, I think everybody in our party has enjoyed it. Um, if you are gonna be down here longer than probably a day or two, I, I would recommend probably going to the Coconuts General Store and renting the golf cart. Um, it cost us around $300 for the week to rent it. I know they offer different packages as well if you're just going to be using it for a day or two. And they also offer things like bike rentals at the uh, Coconuts General Store, which we're getting close to seeing here in just a minute or so. We should be back to that area. But if you are in the area, uh, definitely check out the Coconuts General Store. Uh, to rent your golf cart or if you choose to rent a bicycle or anything like that um, I would highly recommend going down as you can see uh, being on the golf cart you are able to check out a lot of the island uh, as we are doing right now and it is pretty fun for the fact that you see a lot of different wildlife uh, geckos, iguanas, different birds so it is definitely worth your while to probably grab a golf cart while you're down And this is the Coconuts General Store. And the top level is the Ray 
or the Rum Bay Restaurant. Alright, so we will continue our travels on the golf cart and continue to check out the beautiful scenery and amazing vacation rental homes that we continue to pass here at the Palm Island Resort. As you can probably see in the driveway areas, you are noticing a lot of other people who have golf carts parked outside of their vacation rental homes. And if you are on the side of the island we are currently at, from what I've seen, there are very little to no cars in this area. I know the only way they allow us on this side is with a golf cart. I am not sure if you're staying on this side or not, if you have to park in the parking lot right outside this area, or if you are allowed to have your vehicle. But I am assuming, and this is only an assumption, on this island, or this part of the island, I am thinking you need the golf cart and not really recommended, or may not be allowed to drive your vehicle on this side of the island. Or that is what I have noticed anyway while visiting this area of the island, which is the area of the island where the general store is at. There is security that allows you on this side of the island and I know they have people who can drive you back and forth from the restaurant and general store to the parking lot area if you do not have a golf cart which we will be approaching here in just a moment. Parking lot area for the Rum Bay Restaurant and Coconuts General Store. If you don't have a golf cart, typically if you wait a certain amount of time, somebody will come and pick you up, take you to the Rum Bay Restaurant or General Store. If not, rent your own golf cart and go wherever you want. This is an area for public beach access. Place where we found the most shark teeth so far was in this area if you go onto that beach. The public beach access 13 that we just passed through, I would definitely make a visit to this section of the island if you're somebody who likes to collect shark teeth. By the end of our visit, between the six people in our group, I bet we found close to 300 to 400 shark teeth during our week-long trip here at the island. I can't say all the shark teeth came from this section, but a lot of them did. And I know that me and my wife had a lot of good luck right when you walk into the public beach access 13. We did seem to find a lot of shark teeth in this area compared to right behind our vacation home rental so definitely a place to check out if that's your thing and you do like looking for shark teeth this is a good area for it and something we noticed about the shark teeth is they do seem to all be about the same size uh, from what we've seen but nonetheless it still was a fun time searching for them and currently we are on a stretch of main roads which will travel a different mixture of main roads and I guess we call it a mixture of gravel and shells that you travel on. Um, there are signs throughout the island to keep your speed down. If you're traveling in the golf cart it won't be a big issue as the ones they rent to you. I doubt they don't go more than maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour if that. Nonetheless it is fun traveling around the island on the golf cart as you never know what type of wildlife you may see. We have seen numerous exotic birds, 
geckos, iguanas, and gopher turtles during our travels on the island, which is definitely cool to see. Okay, so it does look like up ahead on our right hand side, there is one of these gopher turtles that I just kind of mentioned. And I'm going to have my wife pull off the golf cart to the side. And I'm going to zoom the camera onto this cool looking gopher turtle. Looks like he's eating something. So let's take a moment and look at him. Well, that was pretty cool to see. More than likely, you'll see quite a few gopher turtles on the island if you do plan on staying at Palm Island Resort, Don Pedro Island. But during our stay, we have been quite fortunate to see a lot of the wildlife that Palm Island Resort does have to offer. And the best way, in our opinion, to see a lot of the island is indeed getting a golf cart such as what we're traveling on today. So you can explore the different areas of the island. And I will take a moment now to see if, uh, if you are enjoying this video. Um, please check out the other videos I will be posting soon relating to the Palm Island Resort and Don Pedro Island. I do plan on posting quite a few more videos on this On The Road Again with Davey channel. So please do me a favor and hit that red subscribe button and also like the video as that does really help me out and also will keep you updated when I post these future videos relating to the Palm Island Resort and Don Pedro Island, among other hot vacation spots I will cover down the road. So please be on the lookout as I will post other videos relating to the vacation home rental we stayed at during our visit at the Palm Island Resort and Don Pedro Island. Um, I will also do a video exploring the Rum Bay Restaurant and also the Coconuts General Store. Uh, the Rum Bay Restaurant is the only restaurant on the island and the Coconuts General Store is basically the only store that you will see on the island as well. So I will do an exploration of the restaurant and store. That way you have an idea of what you're getting into when you go on to the island. That way you can bring the things you need ahead of time to the island before you get there. Because once you get on the island, you're probably not going to want to roam off the island too many times once you've arrived there. Um, I'll also have a video on the Palm Island Ferry Transit which basically is your way to get on and off the island, and I will have a separate video on that as well. Um, I also will have videos about surrounding areas, uh, such as in Englewood, Florida, Venice, Florida, and Siesta Key. So when we do roam off the island, I will do a couple videos on those areas of Florida as well. But it would mean a lot if you could subscribe and like the On The Road Again with Baby channel today. Uh, pretty shortly here, uh, I'm going to arrive back at our home rental uh, vacation home that we have. And probably when we get back to our vacation rental home, we might decide to go to the bay and do some fishing or maybe go down to the ocean behind our home rental. I do want to say thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it.